Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the month of October. This is for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. If you don't believe in tarot, then this reading isn't for you. If you get confused, not for you. Alright, if it resonates, great. If it doesn't, so be it. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're in a happily ever after relationship, nope, not for you. Making some changes, Capricorn, aren't you? You are. You're making changes. Beginning to realize the truth about a situation. Okay. I think that you are, are pro probably coming to grips with a situation that, you know, there's a better opportunity for you. You may be <clears throat> shutting down a relationship. Maybe you were, you've come to the realization that you were receiving a false offer. Maybe there was a false offer from somebody. Um... There's definitely a, a loss here, feeling at a loss, okay? You may be feeling like, well, let me get some more cards. Ooh, well, that's a good one. So here we have a loss. It's like there's, there's no love left here. There's no love left here. I know it. I know it, okay? False. This isn't, it's not real. It's not real, okay? It's a... It's a feeling of emptiness. You may be feeling empty because you didn't receive what you wanted from one situation. But then, then we have this, this, this change. This change. And mirroring it is love. So I'm wondering if there's a new offer of love. There could even be a reconciliation here. I mean, there could be. No, I don't think it is a reconciliation. Okay, I don't. I don't think it is. I think this is a new opportunity for love because this is clinging to the past memories that are probably not... They don't have any growth. Okay, there's no more... This relationship that... There's no happiness in it, okay, with these two cards. There isn't. So there's one, one situation in which I think that you are regretfully... You're regretfully letting go of the past, probably with regrets. You probably have been stalling for quite some time, huh? But there's no victory and success there. No victory and success in the past, okay? There isn't. But there's still another offer. So I think the past is dead, and you do have another offer. You do have another offer. You absolutely do. But I think that you're feeling a little disorganized with this change, okay? So, coming out of denial, absolutely. Yep. Can't deny it anymore, can you? You can't. I mean, with that two of, two of swords reversed, okay? There's, it's like, I see the truth. I see the truth of this situation. That, you know, there's no victory here. There's no peace and harmony. There's no coming together. Um, and now I probably have to go for that new opportunity. I have to look for a new opportunity. I have to be open to a new opportunity. So, you know, I feel as though there is one opportunity that is... It's from your past, okay? The one from the past is is no more, okay? It is no more. And I feel you've concentrated on that past opportunity for way too long. And I feel like you have decided to accept this change and stop going backwards. And, and perhaps right around the corner after you accept this change, because this is, this is like making the change, okay? It is. 
It's personal freedom. It's you are being freed from this past situation by allowing it. And when you when you allow it, you know, when you stop focusing on the past, you stop focusing on this false whatever the hell it was, this new opportunity is right around the corner. It's right around the corner. But, okay, these are about choices. I think that you have chosen, well, they're both reversed, you have chosen to cling to this past, this past loss for way too long. You chose to. You chose to. And I feel like now you have decided, okay, done. Done. Okay? I'm done. I'm releasing it. I'm done. I'm releasing it. And, and something has happened to allow you to release it. So consider that whatever has happened, consider that um, a blessing. Okay? Um, we're going to clarify with this deck. Now, I forgot to tell you, this is the Grand Lux Tarot deck. We're going to clarify with this one over here. And we got a jumper already. Ooh. This is the Five of Pentacles. Torment. Have you done that? Have you trapped yourself? Have you tor been tormenting yourself for quite a while there, Capricorn? Looks like you have. Okay, you, you, it seems as though you've been keeping yourself, you've been living in your own insecurities. You've been tormenting yourself. It's like he's holding himself in there, okay? He doesn't need to be in there. Um, <laughs> Ooh. So this is the two of wands reversed. It's like you have not, and look at two, two, two. So we're going to get to that in a minute. But this is you not taking the lead. You've been letting somebody else, letting this past, the Six of Cups, dominate your securities, your insecurities. You've been letting it happen. You, like I said, you chose to let the past inhibit your future. You chose to. Now, two, two, two. These are all reversed. All three of these twos are reversed. Twos are about faith and trust. They're about balance. They're about choices. They're about partnerships. They're about decisions. They're about foundations. They're about um, authenticity. Now, they're all reversed. You haven't had faith. You've lost your faith in love. You haven't been able to trust anybody. Things have been unbalanced. You chose. You chose not. You probably have chosen recently to not be in a partnership. If you're coupled, you probably have retreated to a point where you may feel like you're alone. I feel as though you guys have chosen to not allow anybody in because of the past. You've been headed in the wrong direction. You've been letting somebody else dominate, and I think that now is the time for you to free yourself from that situation, from the past, okay? Um, yeah, you were refusing to take action. This is the Knight of Wands refer reversed. It's like, no, I'm not going to take any action. It's best to just protect myself, protect myself by, <coughs> you know, keeping my guard up, setting up my boundaries, and not letting anybody in. So it appears that, you know, here we have the Page of Swords. You may have received some sort of communication that is allowing you to I don't know what it's allowing you to do. Because this is not, this is secrets. I think something has been revealed. You received some sort of communication that was probably undesirable. It probably hurt. You probably received some sort of information that hurt. This is the strength card reversed. It's about your self-esteem. Adjustment. You receive something that is probably a make, forcing you to come up with a new approach. A forcing it, this, this release, this change. 
high priestess reverse this is this is hidden agendas loss of self repression as well so you guys have went through some sort of repression which i could see anyway under there you've went through some sort of repression in which i think you receive some sort of information that is you know, 8 plus 2 is 10. It's forcing you to complete something, this cycle with the past. It's, is, uh, is, 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 this information that you have received is bringing about a completion of the past. Jeez, some crow. You were dealing with an untrustworthy individual. And you needed to, you needed to hear this truth so that you could release this past. So I do, I believe that you have seen something or you have heard something from another individual that is helping you to make this change that you have been stalling, okay? You didn't, you, you were holding on to the past, I think it was as a, as a protective tactic, even though I think that you knew that the past wasn't feasible, you know, you knew that the past wasn't genuine, you knew that the past was... A lie in that it would never work out I think that you were holding on to it to protect yourself from you know oh my goodness okay look at this shit these are the same card they are different that same card right together too so this was a test you were being tested and you've been stalling like mad you really have. You've been stalling for some reason. You, it's like you didn't want to move forward. It's like you've been stubbornly holding. Stubborn, 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 stubborn. Stubbornly holding on to something. But it feels like now you've been stabbed. You've been stabbed. And now you're at the point where... ooh -hoo. Yikes. So this is the... Uh... This is the seven of pentacles. It says failure. It's broken. It's done. It's over. Look at this shit. It's it's done. You've 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 it's it's over. It's over. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I'm speechless. Something is you've come to the conclusion that there's no picking up these pieces. You can't you can't fix this anymore. You can't. It's over. It's, it's unfixable. It's time to throw it in the garbage. The past is no more. I'm sorry to tell you. But there is another opportunity for love up here. There's an opportunity for love around the corner. It's around the corner, okay? success thank you lord okay so you're gonna get what you deserve for allowing this change and owning it and feeling it you are going to you're going to get this is the six of pentacles next to this ace of cups you're gonna get what you deserve you are so don't give up Oh. Mm. You know, you had to feel this pain. You can't, you can't deny the pain. This pain had to happen so that you could see what you were worth. We all have to go through this stage, okay? So I feel like, you know... You were in a situation that had no growth. And for some reason, you just didn't want to, to let it go. But it was false love. It was false love. Whoever this person in the past is that you have memories with, they didn't, they, they didn't have any follow through, okay? They didn't, they didn't, they didn't. It didn't lead. It didn't. There was no hope. And can you you should be considered a blessing, like I said. It, is, it was a blessing in disguise. You were being protected. This is why it didn't work out. 
there is no hope or there is no hope that there is going to be a reconciliation there. And I think that you've given up the hope that there's going to be. I think if there's no more hope left, I, I really feel like you have. And now there's an opportunity for happiness. This is the Ten of Cups. There's an opportunity for happiness when you find the strength to deal with this pain. For real, happiness will come. Ace of Cups. So yeah, we, now we have the Ace of Cups twice. So love is coming. Right around the corner, love is coming, Capricorn. For those of you that have made a conscious change, you're, ex you're accepting that there's another opportunity. You're no longer holding on to the past. There's an opportunity for love with somebody that is going to work with you. Somebody that's going to put in effort. Somebody that's going to go the distance with you. But you may be discouraged. You may This is discouragement, the star reversed. You may be discouraged and think that you're not worthy, but I'm here to tell you you are. Don't let the past continue to dominate you by making you think that you are unworthy. This past person that you were with, they were empty. Their heart was empty. It wasn't you. So there's an opportunity for love here around the corner. But you got to face the facts. No more illusion. Make that decision to never look back. For real. And you will receive a new offer of love. Could be from... A Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or this could be the other person that hurt you. We have them all. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We do. We have them all here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're all here. But it's also time to be logical. And it's time to stand firm in your decision to not look back. There's an opportunity for love. Somebody, there is an opportunity for love. I think that you will receive an offer of love in October. Um, if you make this conscious change to say no to the past. No past, no past. And I mean, really, don't, you give up hope. I mean, it's done. But that broken glass, it's done. That, that, it's done. There's no repairing it. When you realize that there's no repairing it, and you come to the grips with it, even though it cut you, I'm sure it cut. That, I mean, it, it cut you. You know, when you realize that there's another opportunity, then there, there it is. There it is. There's an opportunity for love here. If you can, if you can face the facts that you are worthy that there was a, it was a blessing that something didn't work out and that you're not going to let the past dominate your future anymore. So yeah, I think that there's an opportunity. There's I definitely we have the ace of cups twice. There's love here. So you should be receiving an offer of of, of love. Rejuvenating rain. <laughs> I get I get so excited. You gotta read that card. They do, they do, they do, they do. Clear the past. Heal, heal the present. They leave me speechless. They really, really do. Um <laughs> Physical and emotional healing is occurring. There is a cleansing and clearing of old emotional wounds. And even a release of past life limitations is happening. All is forgiven. Absolve yourself. Forgive others their transgressions against you. It's time to let it all go. Oh my God. Thank you. All I can say is thank you.
to to the, my people, my spirits, my universe. I mean, for doing this so that I can provide these messages to you. Um, in order for new growth to occur, the old must be cleared away. This card indicates a time of clearing out what doesn't serve and support you. It can also indicate clutter clearing. If you don't love it or use it, most likely it's clutter. Physical clutter can be indicative of emotional clutter. It's time to release it and allow the cleansing metaphoric energy of the rain to purify and cleanse you in the deepest way. There is, this is also a great time to go on a cleansing fast to clear out your body. While old emotions and challenges are clearing out of your energy field, use water for cleansing your energy field. Also, you can stand in a cold shower, swim in the sea, or run in the rain. So, I mean, I can't make this shit up, okay? I mean, it's absolutely unbelievable. It really is. There is a cleansing and clearing of old emotional wounds and even a release of past life trauma. Past life limitations is happening. All is forgiven. Forgive others. Forgive others their transgressions against you. It's time to let it all go. Basically, it just summed up my whole reading, okay? The past is dead. There's an opportunity for love right around the corner. Allow. You probably will get an offer. Talk to you next time.